And boy, oh boy, what a field this has been. They have turned it on tonight. A 30 lap feature, about to get very, very busy. Ryan McNamara looking to make up for the mistake last week. Moroski on his outside. Kratzman, Walker. Back to Kelly and Tipman. Then we go back to the little lady from Greenback, Bonzi. And what about that for a story? Mick Seller takes his spot out of position eight. Darren Jensen, the next in the queue. Butler. Ryan Newton. The two superstars of the future. The 16 year olds. Brad Ayres, Scorgy. Caden Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, let's pull the trigger. We go racing down to the turns one and two. Get in where you fit in, boys. Elbows up as they rip the lip through one and two and down the back straight. McNamara leading the way on the top side. Kratzman in his wheel tracks. Moroski goes from second to third. Kratzman is rolling the two. Kelly's got Ryan Newton for company down the back straight. Have a look at the front five. Tidman, slide, job on Walker. Moves himself to fourth. McNamara puts the foot in the gas, opens up the gap over Kratzman. Rips the lip through three and four. The first four cars on the top side. Walker on the bottom. Almost three wide further back, Kate Brown, Jensen and Butler. And they got young Joy Corbett just behind them looking to get involved in the fight. Meanwhile, back at the front of the pack, Aaron Kelly and Callum Walker. This is for second in the ECL Championship. Whoever finishes ahead will have enough points to finish in P2 for the season. Walker's in that spot at the moment. Kelly looking to come off the bottom of the racetrack. Kelly in the wheel tracks at the moment, switches to the top side, Ryan Newton. Wants an invite to the party to try and upset it all in the front. Meantime, McNamara ticks off another one under the tower. Kratzman losing a little bit of ground now, but he's falling back to the clutches of Moroski. Oh, Corbett got up into the fence in turn three. Oh, Bob almost takes the nose off McNamara under the tower. That allows Kratzman now to get a little closer. McNamara again gets the door shut in his face. Kratzman on the bottom side now, right in the tail tank of the 88. Tidman getting closer. Moroski can't quite get on the back of the black machine. Kratzman. Oh, Kratzman gets a cross up. Moroski gets a slap in the side from Tidman. Tidman moves up another spot. The sparks fly from Kelly under the tower. Aaron Kelly needs to finish in front of Callum Walker. McNamara still leads. Kratzman, Tidman, Moroski. Back to Walker, Kelly. Ryan Newton, Mick Seller, Adam Butler. And Christy Bonzi rounds out the top ten. McNamara all of a sudden comes alive. Rails the top side of the 88. Down the back straight, right in amongst the slower traffic now. Gets in the wheel tracks of Timmy Farrell. Back to Kratzman. Still the battle for third and fourth as Moroski and Tidman. Moroski on the top, Tidman middle of the track. Walker starting to close the gap to these two. Tidman switches to the bottom, back to the top through four. McNamara puts a couple of cars between himself and Kratzman. Kratzman on the bottom, squeezes Scorgy. Scorgy to the fence and over. Oh, Trev Scorgy had nowhere to go. No, he didn't. Kratzman was on the bottom and he drifted up the track and Scorgy got over the cushion and that was all she wrote. He got sucked, the big right rear got into the wall and just sucked the rest of the car up and over. And McNamara did not need this red light stoppage. He didn't need a caution, period. He had a great gap on uh, Brent Kratzman. who was absolutely trying to rail that BK trading number two on the top side. 
Morosky, what a battle he's having with uh, Kevy Tipman and Aaron Kelly and Callum Walker. You can't separate them. They are nose to tail. Certainly are. Brendan climbs out of the 57. Folks, make some noise. What a show, yeah, Brisbane. I was going to say, Jensen, Tipman and Krantzman were in a battle for fourth, fifth and sixth. Only two spots available in the top five for the season points. And at the moment, Kratzman in the box seat. There was 48 between the three of those. Kratzman in the box seat. Jensen way down in the pack. Bonsi, Ayres, Farrell, Gowan, Bomper. That's the field as we get 17 to run and we go back to green. McNamara on the gas. McNamara leads under the tower. One more time. Kratzman and Morosky already busy on the tail tank. Of the man in black. Kratzman moves himself up the second spot. Kratzman fires down the back straight. We'll go deep on the bottom side. Slide job. Will the wheelers that come out of four? Morosky sits on the bottom. Kratzman again looking for the sweet shot out of two. McNamara starting to get away now. He's got about three and a half, four car lengths over Morosky as he rips the whip out of four. Kratzman in the wheel tracks of Morosky. Tittman, best seat in the house at the moment. Walker and Kelly. Oh, one up near the fence. That's Ryan Newton. He bounces off the wall. Everybody now starting to get in where they fit in. Aaron Kelly looks at the top side of Walker. Walker's got the car set up on the bottom side. McNamara, back to Morosky. Kratzman, Tittman. Walker, here comes Kelly Trev. Throws it to the top side. Yeah, Aaron driving the wheels off the number seven machine. Walker just drifts up to the track and takes the line away. Morosky trying everything he can to close the gap on McNamara. Kelly gets the job done. Moves up in front of Callum Walker. Walker comes back down the bottom side. Kelly switches back down to the bottom, it's on for position number five. Gloves are off at the moment, Walker and Kelly, Kelly just Kaden. backs it out. Here comes Caden Brown to upset, oh, one over. Oh, Ayers. Oh, Brad Ayers gone up and over. McNamara gave the wall a, a big slap also, and the Reds come on. Wow. McNamara gave the wall a big clip. Yeah, young Ryan just checking the steering and everything on that car. Seems to be okay. Brad Ayres up and over in the Ayres Engineering. Paps Blue Ribbon Beer. Thanks for sticking with us, Brisbane. If you're listening on MixLR, do trust it's been a fantastic night's entertainment. Our final show here at Brisbane. We look forward to coming back on the 2nd of October. Have a look at the crews on the hill, Macca. It is packed up there. There's not a there's not a blade of grass spare, I don't think. Absolutely, we go racing. McNamara driving a wounded ball. They are three wide. Coming out of two and down the back straight. McNamara hanging on. Kratzman slides up in front. And we got a new leader at the tower. Tonight could be the night. I know we joked about it. Trevor PK leads the way in the black machine. Morosky into second, McNamara driving a wounded duck and it spins. Oh, this young man, I tell you what, Trev, when that victory comes. Well, my, is, my he, question is, did he clout the wall avoiding the Brad Ayers? And so I didn't see that happen, but absolutely not. And I'll tell you what, Morosky got the short back and sides big time on that restart from BK when they got caught up beside Ryan trying to steer that car through turn one and two. And I think Morosky's a bit miffed about that. Yeah, the three wide battle coming out at two. Tipman now moves up to third. Walker and Kelly, that's the top five. BK says, you know what boys, it's my night. Come and get me. Gloves are off in the black machine. And Tipman slides underneath Morosky. Morosky slingshots the 27. Can't get the job done. The showstopper slams the door in his face. Gets it right up over the cushion. And Kratzman leads underneath the tower. Tidman, Walker, now he has a go at the SRV 27 machine. Kratzman starts to open the gap, leaving Tidman in his way back to Morosky. Here comes Kelly. Again, the battle picks up between Walker and Kelly. Caden Brown right in the wheel tracks. We got one spun down the bottom. Oh, it's Mitch Gowan, the Innovate Properties machine. 
Bringing on the caution lights again. Oh, Trev, the sprint car's putting on a show. Thanks just... for joining us, Brisbane. Lights go out, Trev. Nine to run. A big deep breath. As we look to go to the checker, Kratzman again opens up and away he goes. Flyers on the top side through the one-two turn and down the back straight. Kelly with a big heap of steam on Walker. Slips to the top side. Walker catfishes the bottom. Right up near the fence, looks to put himself in front of the 33. Kratzman leads this one. Tittman, Moroski. Still the top three, the battle they're watching at the moment is Kelly and Walker, he gets the job done. Aaron Kelly now finally in front of Walker. Caden Brown wants to get in this as well. The Dixon Brothers number three machine right in the world tracks of Aaron Kelly under the tower. Fratzman doing it beautifully. Here comes Walker again on Kelly. Kelly asks the question. 900 horsepower answers the question. And he goes and stays in front of Walker. Down the back straight. Oh, Caden Brown got balked. Had a big well, run on Walker. moroski has got Tippman for second. Now he's out after Kratzman. Kratzman leads Moroski now second. Tippman. Kelly up the fourth. Caden Brown gets ahead of Walker and helps Kelly out. Three laps left to run. Kratzman now. Can he hang on? Our clown. Moroski is flying. I was going to say, how far? Oh, yellow lights. Joy Corbett. Joy Corbett brings on the yellows, Trev. And it ain't over yet. It is all on for now, Macca. Craftsman, Moroski, Kelly, Brown, Walker, Butler, Bonsi, we're back to green. Here they come, Brisbane, one more time under the grandstand and we go racing. Look at Moroski! Slide job, Craftsman, side by side. Down into the 3 4 turn of Moroski. Can he hang on? Yes, he does with two to go. Craftsman, Tickman, Kelly, Brown, and Walker. Moroski makes the mistake and gets up high. Kratzman can't get close enough. One lap to run, 400 metres, here comes Kratzman. Oh! oh Moroski down from the high side. Top the front end away from Kratzman. Moroski, he will come through the 3-4 turn. And Cody Moroski gets the win. Dittman home for second, Kelly gets third over Brown from Walker. Kratzman ends up home. For sixth position, Adam Butler, Michael Seller, Christy Bonzi, Darren Jensen, Tim Farrell, Jai Corbett, Andrew Bomper, and Mitch Gallen. Trev, I'm on the way. Tried to get back down the inside of Moroski. Moroski come back down off the wall and took the front end away. Have a look at Moroski. Do you reckon he's a happy camper? The SRV Road Freight Valvoline sponsored machine will make its way up into victory lane. <laughs> His dad Gary straight over to the young man. You have just seen one of the best features here at Brisbane all season, folks. Brisbane, make some noise for your winner, Cody Moroski! Oh, popular win. The SRV machine getting the win. Let's get the presentations underway. Home in third place, ladies and gentlemen, make him feel welcome. The bright green machine of Aaron Kelly. Holy dooly, have we seen one of the best ever. 
Aaron Kelly, mate, congratulations. I think that makes you finish second for the points overall for the season. What a frippin' battle, boy. Oh, I don't know if we finish second. If he finished second, that's why he wants to have it, then he can have it. Uh, I don't know, I'm not going to say much. I think the crowd saw what happened. He just wanted to race me dirty, and at the end of the day, I'm going to just rail around his outside and chop him. So if that's why he wants to race and sit around and put around on the bottom and try and run me into the fence, then he can do that. But uh, massive credit to my guys. But the car was unreal. To be honest, the aggression there middle way through the race probably helped me get up on the fence a bit more. And uh, yeah, I also got to sit back and watch, obviously, a good race for the lead towards the end there. But uh, yeah. Elbows up. I know there's a very proud dad and mum up there in the crowd, mate. I know you want to thank him very much. Yeah, first of all, say so to dad. I think I effed another front wing. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's all, a bit, it's all a bit emotional. So uh, look, at the end of the day, you know, it was fun. And hopefully the crowd enjoyed it. Uh, massive thanks. We've had an unreal year. We seem to pick up the end. Obviously, we had, I think, four. Uh, four podiums out of six shows or something in a win. So I uh, could be kind of in our heads. I gotta say massive thanks to my mum and dad for the whole season. It's been an unreal season. We've had our downs, but definitely we've ended on a lot of ups. So massive thanks to them. Thanks to all my crew guys, Steve, Jack, Jad Ubs, uh, my girlfriend, my sisters, my whole family. And uh, big thanks to all our sponsors. Always proud of you, mate. Congratulations on the third place. Well done. Thank you. Aaron Kelly home for third. In second place tonight, put your hands together for Kevy Tapman. Come on up, KT. Congratulations, mate. It's been a it's been a long, tough season, but uh, geez, it was on at the front. Mate, that was one hell of a race. So uh, we finished the season the way we started, which was on the podium, which is nice. But yeah, Crado and uh, and Cody there last lap. I didn't know what was going on there. Uh, yeah, that was a wicked race. It was um, yeah, I'm puffed. <laughs> mate, looking forward to the off season and uh, getting some stuff together for next year. Yeah, we've got a new truck coming, and we're going to sell a couple of motors and. Plenty of work to do, moving to a house next week. So can't thank Simon, uh, Bobby, Henry, all the team at DPE, the go-karters, everyone um, can't think of enough. It's been a big year this year. I've left my job yesterday at JTR. So uh, 24 years in employment, one place. So new chapter in the life. So it was a nice way to uh, finish tonight, my own car, my own deal, and we'll go on from next year. Big thanks to Peter Morris for the Maxwell Power, mate. Yeah, we're <laughs> Simon wanted to put this motor back in tonight because uh, we're going to sell it and it's his favourite. So. Becky finished off with a bang, so he's happy. Yeah, Pete and Chad have done a great job for us down there. Congratulations to Cody and the SRV team. That was a hell of a race. Unlucky for Crado, and, and uh, well done to Aaron. It was just an awesome race. Congratulations, mate. Well done. Thanks, mate. See you next year. Well, Brisbane, it was one of the best, if not the best, feature of the season. It is always great to catch up with this young man on the podium. Make some noise for a very popular winner, Cody Moroski. Oh man, that was gloves off, knuckle fight from Green to Checker. Yeah, I got a few in the chin from Kratzman. I don't know what he was doing, but man, that was a tough race. He stalled, or he half spun out, I stalled, it went back to fifth, Tipman got me, and I just feel like every time I'd make progress forward, I'd, I'd keep going back. And two laps on the board, restart behind Kratzman, I wasn't letting, letting him have this one. We've been too good all year. Errol believed in me halfway through this year and I thought I was down and out. That was my last sprint car race and the fact he believed in me, he said, you know, you can get this done, I believe in you and man, that's just so special. SRV Road Freight, North, North Coast Petroleum, Valvoline, uh, Vaudry, Cummins, uh, Precision Powder Coating, Revolution Race Gear, Carline. We have so many sponsors that, that look after us and keep us on the road and, and keep us going. Um, this is super special and I, I look forward to, to going to Darwin now and. Uh, and next year, hopefully, having a, a big season on the road. Mate, what a way to finish. Absolutely fantastic. And what a brilliant crowd to do it in front of. Yeah, unreal. Thanks to everyone for coming out. I know it was very cold. I, I was freezing, and I still had a motor in front of me. So, um, yeah, awesome way to end the year. And uh, can't wait to see you all in the, in, in the new year. Ladies and gentlemen, your first, second, and third for Brisbane. Sprint car feature tonight. Katie Morosky getting the win. Kevy Tipman home for second and rounding out the top three. Aaron Kelly. I'm going to shoot back across there, Trev, and we'll leave it to you. Oh, Brisbane, there's our podium, our final one for the year, round 14, done and dusted of the East Coast Logistics Series.